Hello friends this is Devanshi and you are watching Science Q According to biological science nucleic acids are the key macromolecules for the continuity of life We can divide nucleic acids into two main categories DNA and RNA Perhaps you can say that these two are the most important biomolecules responsible for storing and reading all the genetic information that supports any life form here in this video we will be discussing some basic characteristic differences that will help you understand the concept of dna and rna in detail so friends stay tuned till the end you might have studied that the dna is responsible for carrying the hereditary information from one generation to another but the question arises what do you mean by dna the dna stands for deoxyribonucleic acid it acts as a genetic material mostly in higher organisms and seldom in prokaryotes it is a highly stable double stranded helical structure which remains enclosed within the nucleus apart from nucleus some other organelles like mitochondria and plastids also contain dna however this dna is not passed from parent to offspring and thus it is considered to be non hereditary now let us discuss what is rna the rna stands for ribonucleic acid the rna is an unstable single stranded nucleic acid that acts as genetic material in lower prokaryotes the rna remains freely scattered in the cytoplasm and is passed from one generation to next however the eukaryotic cells also contain rna but not as a genetic material this rna occurs in nucleolus ribosomes as well as remains freely scattered in cytoplasm in eukaryotes rna facilitates other processes like protein synthesis message delivery etc now let us understand some key differences between dna and rna with the help of a comparison chart the dna stands for deoxyribonucleic acid it is a double stranded helical structure which consists of long chain of nucleotides on the other side the rna stands for ribonucleic acid it is a single stranded helical structure which consists of shorter chains of nucleotides as you can see in this diagram the dna comprises two strands which run anti parallel to each other on the other hand the rna has only a single helix the dna is highly stable because of the base pairing between the double helix in contrast the rna is highly unstable as it is a single stranded entity talking about the composition of dna the dna molecule has three prominent components deoxyribose sugar a phosphate group and nitrogenous bases similar to dna the rna also is made up of three essential components that are ribose sugar phosphate group and nitrogenous bases as you can see that the dna has a deoxyribose sugar which is a pentose sugar consisting of five carbons these sugar molecules serve as backbone of the dna that supports its structure and orientation in the dna strand single phosphate is attached to fifth carbon of one sugar molecule as well as to the third carbon of subsequent sugar molecule to form this backbone there are two types of nitrogenous bases present in the dna purines and pyrimidines adenine and guanine comes under purines while cytosine and thymine comes under pyrimidines Similar to the DNA, the RNA also is made up of three components: pentose sugar, nitrogenous bases, and phosphate group. But unlike DNA, the RNA comprises ribose sugar instead of deribose, and in place of thymine, they have uracil to bind with adenine. The deoxyribonucleotides acts as the monomeric unit for the DNA molecule. On the other side, the ribonucleotides are the monomeric units for the rna molecule in dna when the sugar molecule combines with nucleobases they form nucleosides deoxyadenosine deoxyguanosine deoxycytidin and deoxythymidine are the four types of nucleosides in the dna when the phosphate group attaches to these nucleosides they form nucleotide similarly in the rna the ribonucleotides are formed by the combination of ribose sugar nucleobases and phosphate assembly The primary function of the DNA is to store the genetic information that is passed from one generation to the next. Along with that, it also helps in development, functioning and organization of the metabolic reactions occurring inside the cell. On the other hand, 
the RNA acts as a genetic material in the lower single-celled organisms. Along with that, RNA also helps in coding, decoding, gene expression, and protein synthesis. Other than that, the DNA acts as a template for the central dogma where its genetic information flows only in one direction, that is from DNA to RNA via transcription and from RNA to protein via translation. The DNA can be present in many forms, including A form, B form, C form, D form and Z form. Among these, A, B and Z are most dominantly found. On the other side, the RNA can be of three main types, mRNA, rRNA and tRNA. The mRNA or the messenger RNA is also called as nuclear RNA. It is associated with protein synthesis mechanism. In eukaryotes, the template DNA gets transcripted into mRNA, which later gets translated into proteins. rRNA or the ribosomal RNA forms about 80% of the total RNA content of the cell. They form a significant part of protein synthesizing ribosomal unit. Their main function is to aid the catalytic reaction for protein synthesis. The tRNA or the transfer RNA is the smallest form of RNA that comprises 70 to 90 nucleotides only. Their primary function is to transfer the amino acid at the time of protein synthesis. So guys, that was all for today. Hope you found this video interesting and informative. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Do like, share and comment your suggestions in the comment box. Until next time, this is me Devanshi signing off.